Oh, fucky, fucky, fucky. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, that didn't end well. I meant to go touch my timer, but... Uh, you know what, anyway, welcome back everyone to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Engage. In the previous episode, we, uh, went all the way to Solm and... My friend. Shut up. Shut up. So we went down to the next area, and yeah, it was kind of fun. But anyway, guys, um, I just noticed something very interesting. So for those who play Fire Emblem Engage, if you, there's like a secret little code that your account gets. And voila, you get yourself a hands on the, um, on three new, three new special bomb rings. Uh, Alphonse, uh, Sharina, and... <laughs> Anna from um, Fire Emblem Heroes. That's not all. If I go to Chloe real quick, you'll see something very interesting. Um, okay, I should probably go to inventory because, yeah. If you go to if, if you see from Chloe real quick, it also gives you their signature weapons. Um, so she has her spear. I gave Anna Anna's axe because I finally got her to a bow knight unit. Also, I did a bunch of grinding, um, just so we can get some, uh, units leveled up. Vander's level 20, uh, level, level 10, finally. I'm trying to make sure he has, like, a, a spear or a, or in this case, a sword, uh, proficiency, so he can, uh, reclass into a, uh, Great Knight. Um, yeah, but the thing is, I only have, uh, one more, um, Master Seal. And I, what think of, and I think it's better if I just throw it on you, honestly, because why not? Um, because I'm going to be using you now, so, um, let me just go ahead and change your class to, uh, whatever the fuck this is. I feel like this might be the quad of this game. <laughs> uh, just my opinion, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, now that you have that, I'm going to give you a weapon. Yeah, so anyone can use this, and it's a pretty decent blade. I gave it to, um... Yeah, I gave it to, uh, Diamant, because why not? Um, we also got some bonds, so let's go ahead and bond. So your bracelet was in the Firene of your world? How strange. Did you ever meet me? I did. She was quite different. For one thing, she had unbelievably plain taste in food. There's a Fairnay in this guy's world, the hell? <coughs> That's a little weird. Uh, T with Anna. Probably gonna keep T and Anna for a while. What? It's Anna! But you're kind of small. Oh, I get it. You're not the same Anna that I know. Small? How rude! I'm about as big as you! As a friendly gesture, I'll let you call me Lady Anna. Interesting. Yeah, so I all I know is that like Anna is like staple throughout this uh, franchise. Your ring is something of an heirloom in my family. I suppose that makes things awkward. Um, I don't know. Not at all. I spent many years in your father's company. King Hyacinth treated me well. Can you have sex with emblems? I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. Um, okay. We have like an ass load of support, so here we go. Oh, dash it all. Face it, John. You're lost. This might be another support episode if I feel like it. Fuss if I don't get back soon. Because I'm thinking like since I record like so many hour long videos for Fire Emblem. And most of it's just, like, support and then fights. I should maybe actually, uh, pull a support-only episode. John, is everything alright? Can Clan, Clan be, like, a big brother to this man? Oh, uh, hello, Clan. Were you crying? Did something happen? I, I wasn't crying. I was just a bit anxious from losing my way, that's all. Our forces are getting hurt quite a lot lately. I came here to forage for healing herbs. Oh, really? That's very helpful of you. I found the herbs I needed, but then I got caught up in my work. 
And the next thing I know... You got lost. What about you, clan? Why are you here? I'm here for herbs, too. The kind I need to make pickles. <laughs> and weed. Oh, so, uh, do you know the way back? Oh, yes. I come here a lot, so I can help you get back safely. That would be very kind of you. You have to pay close attention to your surroundings when going into the forest alone. You're right, of course. I'll be more careful next time. Good thing I happened to run into you, huh? Let's go home. Thank you, clan. Aw. Because this guy's probably like still like 12 or something. I don't know. And I guess like clan and Fram are like 14, 15. I don't fucking know. More supports. I want to make her into oh, a wyvern knight. Celine. You look radiant as ever. Like a, wi a wyvern rider because we don't have any of those and it would seem fucking sick but I need an axe so I have Hector on her. Thank you, Chloe. We have some free time today. How do you intend to spend it? That's a good question. Why don't we take a ride on your Pegasus to a nearby tea farm? I'd be thrilled. Mind you, we don't have that much free time. I doubt it would be like it was before. If only I could return to those days of whiling away the hours with you. Princess Celine? Whiling the hours away in what way? Oh well, let's do something else. When this war ends, I'll take you wherever you like, as often as you like. We'll visit all the tea farms in the world, and we can pass the time taking in beautiful landscapes while sipping delicious tea. Now, doesn't that sound lovely? It does indeed. Wonderful idea, Chloe. I shall hold you to it when the time comes. And I will be happy to oblige. Okay. You knock on Fogato. This, in this seems interesting. Hey, Yunaka. I'm headed to a party right now. You want to come along? Party? Why? Ah, uh, not feeling it, huh? You're always in such high spirits. I thought you'd be game. But hey, no worries. I'll see you when I have some other business. Take care. <gasps> he came at me so fast, I forgot to put my act on. <laughs> that, is take that can be taken out of context. I better fix this fast. He'll expose the real me if I don't. Hey, Fogato! What's up? Zappy! I was totally yanking your bowstring! I love raucous carousing in enclosed spaces! I really want to see this other side of her. Are you sure you're not forcing yourself? Don't be ridiculous! Parties are fun! I love fun! Take me to the parties! Every single one! All of them! Ah, so I had you pegged right. Good. Knew we'd get along. In that case, come on. Let's head to the party. Play hard or don't play at all, am I right? Dang right! <laughs> she hates parties. She hates them all. Jade and Amber. Amber, may I ask you a few personal questions? I need some new material for my next novel. I want to make all my fucking... Armored units into like great knights just for the mobility. Oh, you're gonna write a book about me? Oh man, I love that! Fire away! I'll start with an easy one. What's your all time favorite thing? Porn. <laughs> Is that a serious question? Come on, alpacas all the way. They're... I used to hurt alpacas all the time back home. I'm I like an alpaca wrangling that way master. Way too fast. You know? Alpaca wrangling master. Amazing. I'm serious. If there was an alpaca here right now, I'd give you a demonstration. But we're miles away from the nearest alpaca farm, so... Wait. What does that sound? It's an alpaca. <gasps> That's the sound of an alpaca <laughs> of course it is. full gallop! Oh. You're right! I can see it now! And it's coming this way! Is he gonna do, like, a Twilight Princess link where he just, like, grabs by the horns and just, like, yeets it and then just, like, starts running, walking okay, away? Jade? To the you other direction material? that I came from. You're gonna get it. Watch the wrangling master in action. Hey, alpaca, slow down, buddy. <laughs> Why was that Whoa so funny? I said settle down. Why was that line so goddamn funny? <laughs> okay, I think someone someone lied. Amber. Oh, he got fucked. Getting knocked into a pond wasn't what I wanted to show you. I can't believe an alpaca came out of nowhere like that. I'm just glad we were able to catch it. You mean you caught it? 
All I managed to catch was a mouthful of scummy water. I can't even compete with you at something I'm genuinely good at. <laughs> Amber, don't despair. There is a silver lining. The alpaca, the pond, your flailing. Thanks to you, my next book is sure to be hilarious. At what cost, though? Like... Head and low? Oh my! What is that you're drinking, Lapis? It smells heavenly! It's gonna be some tea. Princess Saline, uh, this is regular tea. Yep, nothing special about it. But she loves tea, bro. Do you mind if I have a sip? What? No, you're a princess. You shouldn't be drinking this sort of thing. What's the harm in it? You seem to be suffering no ill effects. It's, it's for peasants, not for royalty. It's not that. It's, well, see, I didn't get the tea leaves from a shop. I harvested them from a wild plant nearby. Ooh, makes it even better. Do you mean that you make your own tea? That's wonderful. Now I must insist that you let me try it. Uh, all right. If you insist. Here. Thank you. Oh, this is bracing indeed. I wasn't quite expecting the taste. You like it? I actually made the tea set by hand as well. So you're like a craftsman? You made this? Its finery would shame some artisans I know. Well, I mean, she did say to Etie that she would make stuff, that she like would make her like some sort of like gym equipment or something. I'm very impressed that you're able to make so many things all on your own. I appreciate that, but really, it's nothing special. Nonsense, Lapis. If it's not too much trouble, could you teach me to brew tea like this? I'd be interested in learning which wild plants to pick and how to brew tea from them. I'd be happy to. Uh, let's go to the forest together sometime and I'll teach you. Excellent. I shall pay close attention, my teacher of tea. All I know from this woman, Saline likes tea. All right, Louis. <coughs> Louis. Yes, Princess Ivy. You always seem so cheerful. Is there some particular reason for it? No, this is simply my default expression. <laughs> my default expression. <laughs> Revert to default. Like, oh, do curious. E default human settings. It may be due to my own reservedness that your demeanor leaves such <clears throat> an impression on me. I mean, he he does he does somehow live with his eyes closed. It's true now that you mention it that I haven't seen much cheer in you. Because you. D <laughs> Because your eyes are closed, buddy. What a sight that would be to see. Is is this man, like, blind? And he can't, like, see? So he just, like, naturally closes his eyes. How does this man sleep? Because you gotta, like, close your eyes to, like, sleep. R right? Please, roast me in the comments. That's why I'm saying this shit. Just to get roasted in the comments. I love that shit. But, dude... <laughs> Open your eyes. What Breathe you air. I have a keen eye for observing the way people socialize. You see, he has a he has a hidden third eye somewhere, or maybe like his eyes hide like the the ninety nine per the rest of his like power, and like the second he opens it, like Armageddon is just gonna happen. This is not reassuring. Which is why I was so powerfully struck by the idea of seeing you in such a context. The Princess Ivy among dear friends, wearing a wide grin. What a captivating thought. I will thank you not to cast me for any role in your imaginary theater. Also, Ivy, what the fuck? I, I never mentioned this in, like, the, the whatever fucking episode we first met. But how the fuck is that, like, thing in front of your face, on your head? How is that, like... How is that for combat? Like, you, you gotta be at least, like, somewhat impaired. The first step is to figure out what you might have cause to celebrate. I think it may help if you accompany me for a time. I'm literally taking this support to, like, roast some of the characters here and Ivy's choice of <sighs> as accessory. Your dedication to your goals, off-putting as they may be, is impressive. Very well, Louis of Firenay. If your ambition is to make me smile, I invite you to do your best. My best is all I can do, Princess Ivy.
Lapis Etier and such. Oh, speaking of fucking Lapis and uh, Etier's gym shit. Lapis, how's that muscle training device coming along? Oh, hey Etier, good timing. I was just making some final adjustments, introducing the Muscle Maximizer Mark III. What happened to the first two? Mark III? Yeah, it took a couple of tries to figure things out. This one definitely holds up though. It'll work your arms, chest, core, and back. Wow, it's as good as I dreamed. So, what's it gonna cost me? Don't worry about that. I built this out of sticks and spare parts, so there was no material cost. Sticks and spare parts? Unbelievable! Well, I owe you for the labor at least. You've gotta let me pay you back somehow. But first, you mind if I try it out? Go for it. <sighs> Yes! That could be so taken the out of context. The settings are perfect. I can tell you worked hard to get it just right. This is exactly what I was hoping It's for. all the max settings. Yay! I'm so glad. It's so good that I have to wonder if you're into bodybuilding yourself. Kinda, but nothing fancy. I just lift rocks. Like that one. Or that big guy over there. Those rocks? With your noodly arms? You're with the one to talk. How do you manage that? I can't picture it. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. I have a feeling we're gonna be good friends. Really? I mean, okay. I'd like that a lot. Neat. Citrin time. Up the train. Oh, well, she is at least. That was a bit better than yesterday, but still far from acceptable. Citrine, what are you doing up so late? <gasps> oh, Lapis, you frightened me. If you must know, I was just brushing up on my ballroom dancing. Hmm, you're not a very good liar. I could see you using magic. Are you training in secret? You found me out. Working this late can't be good for your health. You should really get some sleep soon. I appreciate your concern, Lapis, but I can't let myself rest. Sleep. You can't? If I had your strength, I might not have to train myself well into the small hours of the night. But things are different for me. I must, must, must grow stronger. Why? Oh, Citrine, that's... Don't stay up for my sake. I promise to rest as well, but only after I've done enough for tonight. <sighs> Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Good night. Good night, Lapis. Interesting. I hope we see more. Why she wants to body build. Is that... Nope. Clan and Citrine. Interesting combo. That's it? Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Clan? What are you up to out here? <gasps> Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to startle you like that. The other day, like a, a few days ago, my I was like shoveling the uh, the snow in the morning, which is like the evening for me. And uh, my dad just like frightened the shit out of me. And I was just like, Jesus fucking crazy frightened me. And he just kept like talking, like telling me what to do. I'm like, You had such a serious okay. look. And I was just curious. It's, uh, nothing. I, I wasn't doing anything. Oh my. Was it something... Private? He was masturbating. Don't fret. I didn't see a thing. Oh, hold on. I don't have the, uh... Uh, not really that great. Huh? No! It's nothing like that! I need to find, like, a better, like, mic stand that I can actually screw into my mic so I don't have to have this, like, weird-ass contraption. I was just... talking to a wildflower. Why were you doing that? I found this withered flower out here and felt bad for it, so I propped it back up, watered it, and little by little, it started getting better. <laughs> oh, well, my goodness. I know, I know. It's weird to get this attached to a single wildflower. Not at all. I think you've done a wonderful thing here, Clan. Oh? You really think so? Well, uh, thank you. Would it be all right with you if I watched over this flower as well? Yeah, of course. <laughs> this flower must be happy to have found such a hard-working caretaker. Hmm, I guess that's all the supports. 
And we're 20 minutes in the episode, so that's... Uh, you know, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we literally have... Uh, nothing really much else to do. Um, anyway. Um, I basically gave myself Edelgard. Chloe is fucking around with uh, Hector. Um, I might swap uh, the spear with to like someone else. Vander, he he needs some work. Like he actually needs some work. Like his, like stats wise, he is okay. But like, he somehow just like dies every time I try to grind him up. Um, Anna finally got to a bow knight, which is great. Um, it's a bit sad. I don't really want to, like, I don't know. I don't really want to, like, I want to still use these guys, but, like, I don't have a second seal. Maybe if I throw this guy as, like, I don't know, a bow something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna like leave a bunch of my level 20 units as is and just start using um, units that can be leveled up. Um, like, clan can, cl clan, clan can still be leveled up. Um, Boucheron, Alfred, oh, speaking of, which, speaking of Alfred. Um, you don't need that uh, steel spear anymore, uh, silver spear, there you go. If you equip equip that is that better than the oh no it basically like it's just a bit better like slightly better um i want to see if i could actually upgrade uh the axe hmm. also another thing if i try to engrave a weapon i can only engrave with like the ones we already have so i need to keep um liberation with whatever the hell i have just so the other guys can have their thing. Yeah, this is actually a pretty sick-ass blade. Like, um, I've only ranked, um... Shayna? Sharna? To level, uh, to rank 5? Sharina? Yeah, I got her to, like, to, like, a 5-star rank. In, uh, Heroes, I play a little bit of it. I haven't played, uh, like, much in, like, ages. Like, I still play it, but I just, like, try to, like, get summons. But, uh, I'm gonna see if I can, uh... Oh, yeah, I could definitely, uh, upgrade it. I think this is better than the Liberation. Liberation just low-key sucks, I guess. Um... Let's see. That's plus two. The axe... The axe is gonna need some work. Actually, no. I'm gonna trade some iron for some steel. And then I could, um... Like, I need, like... Hmm. Probably got like one too much, but that's okay. There we go. Hmm. Now I'm broke, but I have um, a pretty good axe for um, for Anna. It's actually interesting because Anna is in this game. This is her axe. She has a signature axe. I'll be here. It's pretty sick. I guess I should. I could also hmm. start engraving some of these weapons. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, Liberation only has, like, 13 might. This has 15. That's ballin'. And also, I can increase it with, um, some more stuff. So, I can either, like, ooh, Lowe's Dodge and Avoidance. Well, I mean, I guess, like, Diamond mm. is a bulky unit. Uh, why not? I'll be here. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Um... Okay, um, before we actually end the episode, because this is a support episode, let's go... Actually, no, there's two things I need to do, and I just realized the second thing I need to do. First, we're gonna go ahead and, um, use some skills. We're gonna go ahead and play for 24 hours, finally. Um, I need to inherit some skills with, um, the guys I already have. So, Chloe. This one might actually be good for her. Okay, that's her. Um, level 2 Lucina, Camilla, nope, uh, Fram, Anna. 
Um, special guard. I also get Geo Spear and HP plus two. Um, Ivy. Um, I'll just get the speed two and alacrity or whatever the fuck it is. Don't she doesn't really get much uh um like stack gains I guess unless we uh do this and I just realized we have to do um the next um thing. Next paralogue. Um. Great. Also, we got, um. I think we got some new clothes for sale. I don't know. But yeah, if you guys play Fire Emblem Gage or you don't play Fire Emblem Gage, download it. Download that shit right now. And there's gonna be, like, a way. There's, like. If you go to, like, the quests menu, there's gonna be, like, this, like, emblem thing. On, like, the top right of your phone screen, you tap that and it'll, like, send you to, like, this, like, place where you can get, like, some bonus stuff. And in the engage code is one of them. Okay, so we're gonna have, like, a bitch ton of achievements. Um. Holy fuck. Okay, then. Um, yeah, um, that, that's, that's pretty good. Um, we got tw 20 fucking thousand, 25,000 fucking things. Um, so anyway, um, hi, what do you want? I'll give you the dragon one for a laugh. And I'm just gonna do this like the personal weapons be because here. I'm because with the other weapons except for steel or uh, silver and brave I'm just gonna go fucking do a thing. Oh, I guess I know another thing I could do to like quickly gain some uh, levels real quick. Um, where is yes the arena? Three remaining. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what that does or what that means. But, um, basically, if we do, um, some arena fights, um, we basically just increase our, uh, thing with them, so, uh, okay, let's go to Lucina, and let's see how this works. I'm, I am I'm honestly not sure you're gonna survive. I am Lucina. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, she's using the uh nothing. Ever onward. Are we lost? Shall we say, with age comes wisdom. Thanks. I've heard you're a knitting expert. I'm terrible with any delicate work, so consider me envious. Ah, uh, and they actually go with the support. <laughs> Most are surprised that a man as large as I is capable of something so delicate. Dual assist, bow agility, skill inheritance. I'm not really sure how, how like the proficiency thing really works. I doubt I can... Oh, I can... Level 6. Sword proficiency. Hell yeah. I have been waiting for this. Alright, can I like... Lucina, Princess of Elise, has arrived. Ah, lost. That's fine. It still works. It, I don't think it really doesn't matter if if uh, you win or lose. It just matters if um, you... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think it just matters if you are decent. Level 13 bow proficiency. Frail not at level 15. That might be good. Oh, I can fight which I can fight um any, I guess. Well, it sucks that uh, <clears throat> uh <laughs> sorry, I had a bit of a voice crack real quick. It kind of sucks that um it doesn't have like a lance or an axe proficiency, but this means I can go ahead and do a sword. Um 
doesn't seem that he's going to give a thing. Oh well. Um. No, wait. Oh, either way, you already got a proficiency. I need a... I need one for you because I want you to be a, uh, a thing. I want you to be um, a high priest. Fram. I am Soren. Let's get on with it. <laughs> the tactics worked. I, I did it. I won. This is gonna be an easy way to like level up supports with these guys. It's ridiculous. Isn't the divine dragon particularly stunning today? Like a never-ending gift. A gift? What are you talking about? Why aren't you making sense? Tell him, Harry Potter looking ass with that birthmark on his head. Um. Let me go back to you. Um. Yeah, he doesn't have. He gives knife proficiency, which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Ugh. Okay, I do want uh, rank six. Okay, I can make you into a wyvern knight whenever I want to. I am Chloe, royal knight of Firenay. I'm Hector. And I won't hold back. Yeah, that was probably going to drag out. She would do no damage. There we go. Getting some proficiencies up. I need to get the rest of my emblems. Just so I can get better classes. Um, a thief. I guess if I make, uh... I can make you Nanka and, Azel and Zelkov a, uh, a wolf knight. And that will probably be really good, because I can do with Yunanka right now, but needs things. Now, I don't know if I want her to have a spear or a sword. Honestly, I guess sword just to, um... Yeah, I'm going with a sword just for, um... I'm Jade, a royal soldier uh, just, just for, um, a weakness. I am Lucina. Let's see what you can do. Uh, counterer. Well, either way, um... Both will be a, a good weakness Let's counterer. See. Wow. I might have to write a book about this. I fought Lucina and I won. I've heard you write very funny novels, Jade. May I read some of them? Of course, Lucina. I'm not sure they'll be your kind of humor, but I hope you enjoy them. Okay, now I just gotta rank you up to level six and you'll be a okay. Actually, a pretty easy way to, like, grind supports. If you have a lot of bond fragments, then go for it. Bow proficiency at level 8? Interesting. Hmm. Probably make my, my character... I could probably could make my uh, protagonist into a wall. bow knight, because I already got the Lucina, unique skill for, uh... Princess of Elise has arrived. For the, uh... <laughs> the Divine this. Dragon class. There we go. When I get more Master Seals, I can do good things. I really want, like... Um... I want a spear one, though. But I don't think I have a spear. Um... Yeah, I want to have, like, some, like, variety, like... Maybe make her into a Spear Bow Knight. Um... Maybe a Spear Great Knight. Um... Make you into a hero with uh, a spear. Uh, hold on. Who has a decent level with Camilla? I don't know if you have like an axe proficiency or not. Yeah, I don't have anyone else with rank 5 with. Uh, or, okay, you know what? I'll probably. Um, I'll probably do this again when I get the rest of my emblems back. I do believe the next one we're getting is um, Ike's anyway. So that's another sword. Um, which is okay in my book, I guess. I don't know. Fought alongside Roy's father, Elliewood. Okay. So he's con so like he is connected with the uh, Roy's timeline, I guess. Um. Shit. 
Okay, well, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the uh, support slash grind video. Um, next episode, we're going to go take on the paralogue and maybe the next chapter, depending on uh, how quickly we get done. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Peace out.